Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of MC Eternal. How are you guys doing today? How's life? The one thing that I love about this game is mining. I enjoy mining. The problem is, in this mod pack, mining is not paying off. Mystical agriculture is also not paying off, so we need to think of an alternative solution. And for that, we need a nether star. So we're going to start having our first wither fight. Let's hope it goes well. I have strength, yes. And we run. I hope he's not that bad. Oh, it's not that bad, okay. It's just a normal wither. And he's dead. Supremium. Nice. He dropped a heart jar. What does it do? I don't know. I just came back from the nether so that I can get some blaze powder. We also need some ender pearls because we need to go to the end. So, which way is it going to be? That way. Okay. Still that way. That looks nice. Look, it's one of those floating rivers and it comes out from a cave. Nice. You are a paper tree. What? There was a chest in the tree and it's called Magma Cube Pet. Walk in lava, sink in lava. Okay, that's nice. And there's a dragon. Somewhere. Look, there's a fox. And there's an owl. We are actually very far, far away from our base. I have never been here. But I think we are fairly close because now I have to walk into an opposite direction. Is it under the glacier? I thought we were going to have a better vantage point here. What is that? Are you dead? Are you asleep? Oh, you're asleep. Do I have to kill you? No, he's not asleep. Run! Run! Okay, he's not that fast. That's good. He's immune to arrows. Okay, he's not immune to sword. And he's causing lag for some reason. I don't know what he's supposed to do that is causing lag, but uh, it's fine. I'll just get rid of him. Apparently not. I blame the lag. It's fine. We're fine. We just run away. And he's gone. I think it's just under here. Let's dig down and see. Oh yeah. It was down here. Uh, I was a bit off, but you know. It was pretty close. Oh my goodness, what the hell? <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. I found the portal, but we have a slight issue. Not the silverfish. It's not the silverfish. It's something else. I think there's a dragon. That should be the tail. Definitely is a dragon. We are under the glacier, so it should also be a... I don't know, ice dragon? And he's breaking blocks. Yeah, that's ice. You know, I'm actually thinking, should we go up? Or is it a very stupid decision? Yes, yes. I'm thinking, can you break stone? That is the question. Probably not. Thank you. You know what? We're gonna try and kill him. Or her. Or whatever it is. And he's not happy. I have a feeling that he cannot break stone. So that's good. Relatively. You know what? We're gonna go in. We're going to take a few hits. And see what happens. Actually, I can't go in. He has spikes everywhere. <laughs> I tried. It doesn't work. Yeah, you see? When he uses his breath, there are spikes everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I got caught in spikes and I couldn't move out. Uh, we're fine. You know, my bow is about to break. And... Oh my goodness. Okay, we're in. We're in for it. How much health do you have left? Oh. I don't have much. Yeah, okay. I'm wearing my armor, but it's glitched out again. How much health do you have left? 292. That is not fair. Everything is fine. Don't you worry. We just have to find our grave and not die. Oh, at least we got an enchanted key. That's... Oh, that's actually not good. Oh, it is good. I got my original grave back. Nice. Another enchanted key. You might notice a pattern here. You know, my bow has like a few durability left. And we're going to use it. Because otherwise, this is ridiculous. They have 1000 health. And they do tons of damage. Please. Yes. He's dead. 
I think. So was it a he or a she? It's a female. Stage four female. Uh, we need to get rid of some stuff. So I have some bottles. We're gonna take a bit of blood. Just a bit. And then let's see if we get an egg. Did we? Did we? Oh yeah! We have an egg. Okay. <laughs> we have to get rid of these. And then go for the egg. It's a blue dragon. Nice. And herself was silver. Okay. I have night vision so I couldn't really see. Let's focus on the main task at hand which is killing the ender dragon. Well, technically not killing the ender dragon, I just want chorus fruit. And I am wearing my armor but whenever you ride a dragon or a dragon picks you up, it glitches out. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go in I guess. Not a terrible place. Not a terrible place. We're fine. We... There's a dungeon in the end. <laughs> okay, we take some of you just in case. There are mini endermen. So the question is, should I ride my dragon, go get Chorus Fruit, or should we try and kill him? It's very dark. You know, actually what we're going to do, we're going to fight the dragon with our dragon. Technically not fight the dragon, we just want to get rid of the crystals. I'm not sure if it's working. I cannot destroy the crystals using our dragon, and my bow is almost dead. So I think what we're going to do is that we just go and get our Chorus Fruit. That's it. Yeah. Easy peasy. And I just remembered for going home, we have the Warp Stone. If it's not obvious, we are going to try and go for the Quantum Quarry from Extra Utilities too. I have not used this guy since 1.10, so I don't really remember how it works, but uh, we're out of options and that is the only option we have left. We're going to need to make a few stuff from Extra Utilities, so we are going to need a Resonator. Is it day? Is it night? Is it foggy? Since I do not want to use this manual mill, I made some solar panels and I think we only need like 15 GP or something. This should be more than enough. Okay, seriously, what's wrong with the weather? Why is it foggy? We need to get some stone burnt. We are also going to need 6 pickaxes so that we can make 6 quantum quarry actuators. And in order to make the quantum quarry itself, we are going to need this. A magical snow globe. And we're missing a bunch of stuff. Oh, it's raining! That was the savannah. Ah. We need one piece of snow, and if I remember correctly, there was a glacier right next to our base. Yes, over there. That's all we need. We can go home. We can make the magical snow globe. So this guy is incredibly weird. We have to apparently go to different biomes in order for this guy to be activated. Mountains have already been visited because we live in the mountains. But there are a bunch left. Plains, forest, and swamp. And instead of running around the world like an idiot, we can make a nature's compass. And that was a quest, apparently. No, it does not teleport you anymore. Oh, it can. Yep, that should be the one. Okay, that crashed my game, but for some reason, this guy is now active. I don't know what happened. There is a very weird chunk error here. Look, I don't know what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you or quantum quarry. This is a very temporary place because I just want to see if this guy works and it will give us the ores that we want. So we are going to need a chest which I think we can just put it here and you need power. It requires 20,000 RF. But holy, why are you giving me those? It's mining in a hypothetical biome so it's not technically destroying anything but I'm still confused. Okay, we need more RF. Alright guys, a few points. First off, this guy can accept a silk touch book and then it will silk touch everything. It does not cost any more RF to do that, so I was like, yeah, why not? I can make an ore processing unit later on anyway. The other point is that this guy is getting the correct ores. All of them are from thermal expansion and therefore processing them is relatively easy because the ore generation in the overworld is actually screwed up so you get like 10 different types of copper <laughs> but this is getting the correct ones which is good it's also going through a dungeon for some reason and we're getting loot which is weird and also some iron wood he also accepts a filter so you can specify which items you don't want and it will void it automatically the bad news is it requires 20,000 RF I upgraded our dynamos but we're barely making 10,000 so I don't know what to do. It's generating a decent amount of resources. I can use those resources in order to upgrade our dynamos and make an ore processing unit. 
it's also Saturday, so I don't have anything to do. It has been quite a while later and I have upgraded our power generation. We have 48 numismatic dynamos and each of them is generating 700 RF per tick. That equals to 33.4 thousand RF which we are generating in this facility. You might also notice that all of them have signalum upgrades and the reason for that is extremely simple. You get Enderium if you have Platinum and you get Platinum if you have Nickel and until now we didn't have any Nickel ore. But right now things have changed. And all of that is thanks to our quantum quarry which has just mined 112,000 blocks. I have also prepared a small area for ore processing which is fairly standard, it's just pulverizers, redstone furnaces, induction smelters so that we also get rich slag from time to time. Everything goes through this ender chest and gets processed and goes through another ender chest and into our ME system. And our income is amazing. However, the quantum quarry only provides us with ores from the overworld and it does not give us ores from the nether. Therefore, I decided to repurpose our mystical agriculture area and here, instead of having copper, nickel and silver, we're having auridite, quartz and cobalt. Also, I made a platinum seed because we need a lot of platinum in order to make enderium in order to upgrade our power system. And in order to get all the essence that we need in order to make all of these seeds, I have made inferium seeds tier 5. Everything goes inside an RF tools crafter and eventually we will get a block of insanium. And we have our first one. Nice. Now that we are relatively filthy rich, I want to redesign our base and get into auto crafting. So we need to tear everything down and redesign the whole place. Okay, these guys showed up again. I have no idea what they do, but let's get him away from the portal and then see what he does. Okay, oh, he takes you away. You jerk! He's not taking any damage. Nice. Okay, we're fine. I would like to mention that I do understand that this is not a technical mod pack and we need to focus more on wizardry, rats, mine colonies and adventuring. But the thing is, there are so many technical mods in this mod pack that we need to have resources, we need to generate RF and we need to have auto crafting. So we should get started very soon. The sooner we start, the sooner we'll finish. And I'm confused, how do I want to do this? I want to build in the mountain. I removed all the thermoelectric generators because we have a flux point right now. But um, I should dig up. Let me see. Since I'm going to tear everything down inside, let's reassemble the ME system out here so that I will have access to my items. And you go there. Boop. You know, you make a room and you think it's going to be decent enough. Unfortunately, once you put the ME controller, you're like, okay, this is not even half the space that I'm going to require. Okay, the base is coming along, but we are still far, far away. The thing is, uh, ignore the cobblestone pillars because they are my scaffolding so that I can reach up there. And I think we have reached the stage where I can start auto-crafting the auto-crafting part so that we can auto-craft far better. And that very confusing sentence which I just said means that we should be able to start automating the inscribers. And since these guys are incredibly ugly, we're going to try and put them in the basement so that we don't have to look at them. You know, for me, it's actually very funny because in Project Ozone, we're also trying to do auto crafting, but I still have not managed to auto craft processors. So let us see if we can make processors. Can you make me a hundred? Yes. Perfect. These are really good. They're extremely fast. Alright guys, it's been actually the next morning, so if I sound different, that's the reason. But we have managed to automate everything from thermal expansion and applied energistics. So for the foreseeable future, we don't have to get into anything technical. The good part is, I can now do this. We actually need 8 because we're missing 8 in one of the drives. And the best part is, we can afford it. Nice! I also upgraded some of the dynamos to resonant and I also included a cryo stabilized flux duct here because up here we only could transfer like 14,000 RF and we were transferring far more. Anyway, I don't dare to upgrade the rest to resonant and put the augment for increased RF production because I'm not sure if our prismarine production is going to keep up. Maybe I have to put efficiency upgrade, I'm not sure. But for now, it's good. It's around 40,000 RF, so I'm not complaining. And our quarry seems to be mining the twilight forest. Weird. Last episode, I asked you guys which kind of skill should we use. Scout, wizard or warrior. I actually went for warrior because after our last encounter with the dragon, I noticed that uh, we need a buff. We need a huge buff. But at least we are doing a decent amount of damage. I upgraded melee damage, random critical hits and iron skin. Uh, we're out of XP, so yeah. And I've been thinking, there is a battle tower next to our base. 
so let's try our new abilities inside see if we can do any damage we can just remove you and you and go up and I don't like spiders I don't think anyone does but we are doing a decent amount of damage which is good okay third floor is done ironwood okay this is the fifth floor and the chest is empty <laughs> why melon seeds I'll take it you know the loots are garbage there's nothing what 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 oh it's the boss let's go down yeah yep 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 we'll fight you on the ground oh it's night time nice the good thing is we have an enchanted key yay good we're fine oh he's here hello he still has a ton of health Ooh. nice diamonds actually we should run away probably because the tower is going to collapse good thing that i ran away <laughs> so generally we do a lot of damage but i also take a lot of damage I fell from the tower, but you know. So someone told me that if I wear a mask and enter the village, I can sneak in and kill the boss and get his mask. I got his mask, but I don't know how it works. I can summon followers, but I don't know how. But they're such a friendly village. Look, it says equip, then right click with a Barakoa mask to spawn followers. And there is no Barakoa mask. So I'm confused. I was looking for another village and then I saw one of these. It's good, we need some constellation papers. We have found Ivorcio. I saw a cloud thingy up there and it does seem to have a chest. So I thought let's scaffold up and see what's inside. It's very far. That's a dragon. We should be ready to warp home. <gasps> no! I fell. Okay, we have our grape. We are fine. Did you found me? <gasps> Whoop, yep. We go home. You would think that I would run away, but no, no. I decided that I'm going to fight. And look, there's an Aurora. And yes, dragons are jerks. I went back home to bring a bow. And I'm running out of arrows. And we are out of arrows. We go in. How much health do you... Oh, he's almost dying. Where is he? Hello. Come on, come on, come on. He's dead. Well, that didn't go according to plan. At least we got some dragon scales. But now I can at least go up to the cloud and see what's inside. It's incredibly difficult to scaffold using your dank null. So we're going to do it like this so that I don't fall down again. We have a cloud pet. What do you do? So this guy says disabled. And the rest of them do not say that. So I think this is not working. It's fine. All right, guys, I guess we had enough adventuring for one day. What is that? Oh, you're a traveling merchant. You scared me. <laughs> anyway, I was going to say that we had enough adventuring for one day because whenever I go out, I find a dragon and uh, it's not going so well. So let's start with a new mod. And I was thinking we go with Bewitchment. And just to let you know, I have no idea how this mod works. So we're going to wing it. <laughs> I did not find a good tutorial as well. And I just found a playthrough, which was very weird. I think we have to start by making an altar. So we're going to need something called Elder Sapling in order to make the altar. And it seems it's a villager trade. So we have to go to a village. All of them are stuck here. <laughs> it's weird. So are you the guy who sells me the sapling? And yeah, maybe we just have to unlock one trade. They, they sell you seeds from mystical agriculture. This is nice. Steel seeds for four emeralds. I have not found the sapling that we want. So I think we have to go to another village. These are nice. Totemic. Uh-huh. There is a vampire hunter trainer. What? Your trainer cannot train you at your level. Okay. We will think about turning into a vampire later on. I think there is going to be a problem if I remember correctly. And that is uh, if I turn into a vampire, I cannot go out during the day. And with the hardcore darkness, it's going to be a problem. You're useful. It seems this is the only village which we can find these guys. So maybe I have to unlock it. Inferium seeds, tier five. Don't mind if I do. Enderman seeds. You know, this has turned into a shopping trip. I know I said no more adventuring today, but the thing is, I needed to find another village because uh, those guys were not selling me the sapling. There is another witch and hopefully he will sell us the thing that we need. Yes. 
Give me everything. I also bought the token of remedies. It seems to absorb illnesses. I don't know what it does. Let us also hope that this sapling just grows on its own and it does not require anything stupid. Okay, it's fine. So finally we can make our altar. It has to be two by three, so six was enough. There is also a magical energy thing and I think this guy has to be close to crops. We need to put carpets on it. I made some carpets, we put... Oh, you need only one. Okay, so you have formed? I think so. I just noticed that if you put the carpet on top, and if you look at this, it will tell you that you're gaining energy. So we did something correctly and wit counts. That is good, but I think we're going to need an area for bewitchment. And I don't know where to set it up. Of course, I still have to learn how bewitchment works, and that's not something that I can do this episode. So with this, we're going to start wrapping up today's episode, and hopefully in the next one, we would be able to start a witchcraft area. We will see how it goes. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.